Welcome to Physics 2211 Lab 4, Oscillations. The first goal is to compare the predicted motion with the observed motion of a mass on a spring. The second goal is to plot the change in energies of the mass spring Earth system through time. The findings show similar positions between the predicted motion and observed motion over time, with some deviations. The total change in energy of the system is zero throughout the observed time. A key concept of this lab is Newton's second law, which states that the net force acting on an object is the change in momentum divided by the change in time. This equation is related to the velocity update formula, and the velocity update formula is related to the position update formula as shown. The energy principle states that the total change in energy in the system equals the work done by the surroundings on the system and the transfer of thermal energy to the system from the surroundings. In the energy principle, a system must be defined as it impacts what energies are involved. A system with multiple interacting objects can have the kinetic energies and potential energies shown below, as well as thermal energy. The energies shown in mathematical equations are present in this lab. In this experiment, the system is the earth, spring, and mass. The surroundings are nothing that does work on the system. Therefore, the change in energy equals zero. Because the system has multiple objects, potential energy energies are considered. Therefore, the total energy of the system equals the sum of kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and spring potential energy. The free body diagram of the system at static equilibrium shows the forces acting on the system, including the spring force and the gravitational force. The tracker analysis of the oscillating motion of the mass on the spring. The position of the mass in the x and y axes is tracked and stored in a table. This table was then placed in an Excel file and converted to a CSV file for model analysis. The tracker analysis shows that the mass of the object is 0.402 kilograms, that there are 0.095 seconds per frame, the change in time, and the object's initial position. Here are the initial conditions for the computational model, which were derived from the initial conditions presented in tracker on the previous slide. Here are the interaction constants of the model. We are told that the spring constant k and the relaxed length L0 for the spring can be found in pre-lecture video 52. So the values in the code are from that video. However, the equations and steps to calculate the spring constant and the relaxed length are shown at the bottom of the slide. Note that the spring constant can be determined from the oscillation period. Important equations for the model include the distance from the relaxed length, the energies involved, the net force, and the update formulas. The mathematical equations and their coded equivalents are shown as well. Here is the iteration step for the computational model. Note that the changes in energies for the energies involved are converted from mathematical equations to code. Also, note the code for comparing the tracker analysis with the model. Here are the video results for the computational model versus the observed tracker analysis. The object moves back and forth, creating an oscillating motion. Here are the graphical results for the computational model. The graph on the left is the change in energies over time. The two graphs on the right are the position versus time graphs for the model and for the observed tracker data for x position and y position. In the change in energy graph, the potential energies oscillate and are opposite in sign to each other. The kinetic energy also oscillates. In the position graphs, the y positions between the observed data and model differ more than the x positions between the two data though both show some differences between the observed data and predicted data. Potential sources of error include not accounting for other forces, which would account for the aforementioned discrepancy in Y position data versus the X position data, not accounting for other energies, and not consistently marking the center of mass during tracker analysis. The energy principle is satisfied. Looking at the change in energy versus time graph, the sum of the change in kinetic energy, the change in gravitational potential energy, and the change in spring potential energy equals zero. This sum is the change in the total energy of the system, which is denoted by the orange line. This sum shows that nothing in the surroundings does work on the system, which is true based on the definition of the system in this experiment. By measuring the time difference between troughs in the X position data and Y position data, and finding the average period, the average oscillation period for the X position and Y position can be determined. 
The average oscillation period in the X position data is 1.646 seconds, while the oscillation period in the Y position data is 1.489 seconds. This difference in oscillation period has a major impact on the calculation for the spring constant K, the calculation of the spring force, and the calculation of the spring potential energy. The difference could be caused by drag forces or errors from the tracker analysis.